I'm going to start with this question, and I think this question will um, overarch the whole book of Galatians. And this is for you to think about, to pray on, is how are you made right with God? What makes you right with God today, right now? What makes you right with God? I like to call it the salvation box. You know, if you imagine a little box that had salvation written on the side. And God puts certain things in there that's required for salvation. It's required to be made right with Him. But we humans, we sometimes like to complicate things. This is what God says in Romans 10, 9, and 10. He says this, If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God has raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. That's it. That's the gospel. That's the good news. Yes, Jesus started his ministry with repent for the kingdom of God is at hand, right? Well, repent means change your mind. It means saying Jesus is Lord. He is the king. His way is the right way. And that's it. That's the gospel. Jesus paid the price for our sin by his death on the cross, and we are made right with God through faith in Jesus alone. That's all. But like I said, we humans like to complicate things. We like to add more to the box, create formulas. Do this, do that, don't do this. You better not dance. I saw somebody at an R-rated movie the other day. We like to add things to the box and say, if you don't follow these things, well, then you're not a Christian. But I'm, gonna, I'm a math person, so I'm going to put a formula up here. Because we like to make formulas, but God gives a formula. And, and if you throw this up there, it says this. Jesus plus works equals the bondage of sin. When I ever I try to add something to Jesus, it puts me back under the bondage of the law. But Jesus alone equals the freedom of salvation. 